hey, food allergies are on the rise, and most children diagnosed with one do not even have a direct family member with a food allergy. But numerous recent studies have shown that up to 80% of peanut, egg, and milk allergies can be prevented. That's right. Dr. Katie Marks Kogan is the co creator of Ready Set Food, an easy and safe way to help protect newborns. If you know someone with a little one, or if that's you, take a listen to this. If you're a new parent, you're going to want to hear about the new USDA guidelines, especially when it comes to allergies. And we have Dr. Katie Marks Kogan on with us right now to explain what those new guidelines are. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Thanks so much for having me on. This is Absolutely. Yeah, this is a really important topic because it's actually a milestone. It's the first time that the USDA is providing recommendations for a baby's diet. And one of the key recommendations is that all babies should introduce allergenic foods like peanuts and eggs into their diet starting at four months of age. So, you know, for allergists like myself, this is something that we've been telling our patients and families for years now because we know about the groundbreaking research that, um, that basically demonstrates that we can prevent hundreds of thousands of food allergies in children every year. So it's wonderful to now see this broader acceptance by the USDA's inclusion. Now that is a seismic shift in what most parents who have kids that have a peanut allergy or a wheat allergy or any other type have been living their lives. I mean, they've been avoiding those things like the plague, and now they're being told to introduce this to them at such a young age. What a big shift. Now, how can we make sure parents get the message? So that's the right question, right? This is so important. It's a milestone. It's the first time that, you know, the USDA is really focusing on this age group. And so all parents and pediatricians really need to take note of this. Um, you know, as an allergist and, you know, our company, Ready, Set, Food, we're really doing everything that we can to do our part to help spread the word, really looking at all avenues. So we're speaking at conferences. We recently appeared on Shark Tank and we're able to partner with Mark Cuban, who has been personally affected by food allergies. We're also partnering with major health systems like Advocate Aurora, which has 30,000 babies born every year. And we're going to continue to do what we can to get the word out and spread awareness. You know, food allergies, unfortunately, have become really an epidemic in our society. And so Ready, Set, Food has made it our mission to educate parents and to make it easy for all families to be able to follow the research. You know, this affects more than just parents with kids with food allergies. It's all of those other parents too. I'm a parent having to pack those lunches and making sure you had the almond butter and all the other things because you couldn't, what didn't want to bring that into the classroom. And this is really going to affect a lot of people. Now you mentioned Ready, Set, Food. Tell us exactly what that is. Sure. So Ready, Set, Food is an infant supplement that makes it really easy for families to introduce allergenic foods to their babies early and often and to follow the guidelines. We created it because uh, one of the co-founders, his son, was diagnosed with multiple severe food allergies as a child. And so he was motivated to find an easy way to try to prevent that from happening in other children. And then for me as an allergist and as a mom, I know how hard it is to actually follow the guidelines and do aller uh, early allergen introductions. So I actually did a DIY introduction with my son and I tried to introduce multiple allergenic foods multiple times per week. You know, I, I uh, pureed scrambled eggs and I mixed bumba with breast milk. And I found that it was really difficult. I, I had a really busy schedule and it was really hard to make sure that he was getting the right amounts of those foods with the right frequency. And so we knew that we needed to make it easier so that all families could do this. And Ready, Set, Food makes it really easy because it introduces common allergens by feeding it through a bottle. And there are, it's all organic, there are no preservatives, there's no sugar, there's no additives. It's actually just three real food ingredients, which are peanuts, eggs, and milk. And so we really just 
you know, want to make it easy. And I was actually lucky enough to have this product available when I had my second child, my daughter, and I used it with her and it really made a world of a difference compared to what I had done with my son. So obviously we don't want to just start grabbing peanut butter and putting it in their mouths. This is a much easier way to get that egg, as you mentioned, and the wheat and the, and the peanut butter and all of those different allergens. What age group are we talking about? I mean, there are kids three, four who are you know suffering with these allergies. Is this something for them or is it only for newborns? So that's a great question. We recommend following the guidelines, which is to, to begin eating allergenic foods at four months of age. And now we know that this is even part of the USDA's dietary guidelines report. Um, and so for babies under 12 months of age, Ready Set Food recommends using the product, again, beginning at four months of age, all the way up until 12 months of age. After 12 months, you really should speak to your pediatrician or, or an allergist uh, about doing early allergen introduction. So most people don't know this, but all babies are at risk of developing food allergies. So genetics are not the only factor involved, which is why it's so important for all babies to be doing early allergen introductions starting at four months of age. Now, naturally, most parents who have seen that the reactions that these kids can have, some of them life-threatening, are probably a little worried about saying, okay, I'm going to actually do this. This feels counterintuitive to what I would be doing. Let's talk about the safety. Absolutely. So it's a really great question because what we know from all of the research is that infancy is actually the safest time to be introducing allergenic foods. If baby is going to have a reaction, it is generally mild. And so that is why the recommendations are for all babies. Now, if you have, if your baby has severe eczema, you should speak with your pediatrician first. But otherwise, the recommendations are for all babies because we know that that it's the safest time to be doing it. We also have you know, newer research that looked at all of the public records that we have with regard to food allergy reactions and, um, and, and you know, severity and fatality. And there have been no fatal reactions in children, in infants um, to date in all the public data that we have in the US and in the UK. So there are multiple different reasons and um, that, that helps strengthen this idea that this really is the safest time. And then we know all of the groundbreaking research has shown us that this can prevent up to 80% of food allergies if we do early allergen introduction. So we get those allergens in early and often. Doctor, thank you so much for the important information and the time this morning. Ready, Set, Food sounds like a great product that a lot of parents, I'm sure, are going to want to check out. Thanks again. Wow, USDA actually made those changes. That's a big deal. Once again, again, learn more about this allergy food prevention program. Just head to ReadySetFood.com.